What's up, everybody? Uh, it's another one. I ain't started yet. I ain't, I ain't really got uh, too much or nothing to say. Uh, is this the first workout with the twist? The first twist or the second? Can't remember. Um, it's not important. But yeah, I, I feel good. It ain't that hot today. I think it's gonna rain out there. It's looking kind of cloudy. Maybe some more rain from um from that what was it a tropical storm or whatever it was. I don't even know. All we got was rain. We ain't really get no wind. So um, but yeah, today I really need to work on some different things. Uh, glutes definitely. I want to keep working on them. Um, squats definitely need to work on those because after I did some tweaking on my form, of course I had to go down and wait. So I'm working my way back up where I was, which is frustrating because it's like I feel the time taking on my deadlines that I set. And oh, anyway. I gotta hurry up. Um, yeah, I gotta do whatever I gotta do, and because y'all don't understand, I don't like missing goals at all. I don't care what they are. I hate missing them. It don't matter what happens. Like I get hit by a freight train and still feel like you know I need to do what I need to do. So, oh, I'm a little broke out. What did I eat? Usually when I break out like that, it's because of something I ate, usually. But, um, yeah, um, but no, other than that, I feel good. Um, I'm going to work on deadlifts as well, but I really want to work on glutes pretty good. Shoulders, I want to hit really good. Um, what else? Oh, let's see. Let's just play by ear. Let's just... You know, oh, another thing, I brought my um, my little gym journal with me. I had slacked off on writing stuff down. Y'all don't do that. Always be writing and keeping track of your stuff. Because even with me filming, there are little things like the weights and stuff, which I can look back at the video and I can look at the place and tell which weight I use. But it's so much easier when you just can, you know, open your little book and look and see what you did this day, et cetera, et cetera. And then you can jot down some notes, you know, before the workout, how you felt, after the workout, how you felt, et cetera, et cetera. Um, also, it's good to write down what you eat, too. Sometimes when you, I find when I, I don't always write what I eat, but I write what I eat a lot. And I find when I write what I eat, it keeps me accountable because I don't want to write that I had a Big Mac and <laughs> I, don't eat, I don't eat McDonald's no more, but... <laughs> I don't want to write that, you know. I don't want to write that I had some trash ass food, you know. So, um, so yeah, that's that's a way to kind of keep yourself accountable and trick yourself. Cause if you write down what you ate, and you go back through and you ate all this bullshit, you're kind of negating what you're doing in the gym. Diet is more important than the gym, but anyway, um. I got a video coming out talking about the pros and cons of caffeine. I really researched that earlier today. And um, I want to talk about that because I see a lot of people using a lot of pre-workouts and stimulant type powders, drinks, whatever, to help them in the gym. And I just want to kind of talk about that a little bit because I don't think people even really realize the potential damage or the potential effects that they're actually doing to themselves so I kind of want to talk about that and, and I am going to do some more body weight exercise videos I know um, some of y'all don't have a gym membership and I honestly to be real with you I don't really advocate a gym membership and I'm going to um, and I know y'all see me in the gym um, I should kind of like explain that more um, but yeah I, I'm going to get into all that. So I got some more videos coming. Sorry I ain't been posting nothing but my workouts, man. Y'all don't understand. I've been working. I've been running my business. And I've been working uh, for the U.S. Census. So I've been so busy I ain't been able to see straight. 
I really haven't had much time at all between doing that and the garden. I haven't had time for none of my cars. I haven't had, and I need to put brakes on my car, shocks on my car, all that. I haven't had time for none of that stuff. I haven't had time for really for nothing for me. I've just been, but it ain't going to be much longer with the census. I'm just going to grind it out and get the little money. You know, this is just little side money to keep me from going to my bank account for certain stuff because I like to keep my bank account looking a certain kind of way. But that's just me. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I'm, I'm going to jump into the workout, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thanks, everybody, for hanging tight and watching me. And keeping me motivated and keeping me squared away and keeping holding me accountable. So um, I appreciate everybody that watches. And uh, here you go. What's up, everybody? Um, so. Another workout. Um, before I get started, good. I'm just gonna get the hooks ready for the bar. Gonna get the clothes together. <laughs> uh, when I did this workout, I was um, <clears throat> I felt pretty good. I. Oh, and that's something I wanted to tell y'all. When I work out, I'm generally fasted. I haven't eaten when I work out. I don't like to work out. So I'd rather be um, running on empty, as they say. Um, so yeah, I just kind of started out with squats. Um, still really working on... Locking in, um, form. just warming up with the bar. Same old, same old. Y'all know the drill. So I grab some 45s right there and put 135 on the bar. Here's some more of that pathetic um, <laughs> trying to uh, retract my scapulas, trying to, you know, get a little stronger at that. I don't know why I decided to, to do it there with the bar there because the bar was like smashing my boobs, but it's a little bit better than last time, right? Maybe not. I don't, I don't freaking know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I feel stronger, but I don't know. When I watch it, it looks, it still looks bad. It looks bad to me. I don't like it. But once again, I'm supposed to be showing progress. And stuff, you know, having a channel where I'm already where I want to be. And then, you know, people never really actually get to see a journey per se. They're just kind of seeing Somebody that's already in shape get get a little bit more in shape, which I don't know. It just seems like in in the fitness industry or YouTube that should be boring by now. Like, but I don't know. I guess people just keep watching that kind of thing. I have to say my squat form was looking, um, a feeling rather, um, better. Um, I felt more confident in it, um, you know, and, I, and as I go forward, I still feel more and more confident in it. 
Now what I just have to, um, I feel like I need to work on is um, a little bit more volume. So instead of just doing three reps, I think I need to go up at least do five on 135. Like, I don't think from here on out I'm gonna do three reps anymore on 135. I think it's just pointless. I mean, you gotta make a um, conscious effort to uh, increase what you're doing. Um, the day I did this workout was the first day in a long time that I actually had my workout journal with me. So I wrote everything down that I did so that I could keep track of it. And then, you know, as the weeks go on, I have to go up and there's no, um, I mean, barring an injury or something, there's no excuse for me not to just basically um, force myself to improve. So um, right here, I, that's um, 155. Those are 10-pound plates. For some reason, when I when I unracked this both times, it felt like it was off balance. And I know the second time I unracked it, I was actually in the middle of the bar. So I was just looking like, why does it feel unbalanced? I'm not sure why it felt that way, um, but it did. And y'all know I don't really run with clips, so I, I need for that to be balanced because if that bar tips to the side one way or another, then weight's coming off. So I wanted to make sure I had it where I needed it. And like I did two there, and honestly, the way that moved, I feel like I, I, I could have done, I know I could have done three, but I feel like I could have kind of like eked out maybe, um, maybe four at the most. So yeah, I gotta work a little bit more on pushing myself. Right here, you can see me doing, um, working on my shoulders, uh, warming up my shoulders, my rotator cuffs. Can't see me very well. I'm leaned against the wall so that I don't swing or use any momentum. I want to really focus on um, warming up my rotator cuffs really good. I'm warming my shoulders up. Uh, that's a lightweight, it's a 10 pound dumbbell. It's not very much, you don't need much for um, doing your rotator cuffs. I mean, if you haven't been doing them. If you've been doing them, I mean, I've seen people go up to 15 pounds. I don't think I've seen much heavier than 15 pounds. And so I'm kind of super setting this with um, if I can get on the bar. Oh, wow. That looks a little better, I guess. Right? Last time. Um, doing that really ate my hands up quite a bit. It's all good, though. Back to the squats. Um, all right, my, my glasses are always sweat falling down because I'm sweating. When I'm in the gym, they're always falling down. It's annoying, honestly. I do I do have contacts, but I hardly ever wear them anymore. Um, I think maybe I should go back to wearing them when I go to the gym. So here you see me take out the 10 pound plates and put on um, 15 pound plates. So this will take this weight up to 165. Let me see, 135 plus 30, yeah, 165. And to be honest with you, it's really annoying me that I'm, um, you know, still in the 100s on the squats. Um, actually, not too long ago, before I started my channel, I was actually squatting. I think it was 225. But that was when I was squatting almost every day. 
and I was getting better every day and then I had some stuff go on and I just I quit I quit squatting I quit doing a lot of different workouts I ain't gonna lie I was bigger than two um so since I started this channel really since I started this year actually um I've worked out off and on for years and years uh but I've been the last, uh, the last about three or four years, I've been more on than off. But I have had some off periods because, like I said, I was squatting at 225, and then I think I fell off working out, working out for maybe three or four months. Like I would do a little something at home, but it wasn't consistent enough. Um, like I never just leave the weights alone, period. But when I'm not consistent, I'll be honest and say I'm not consistent. So, um, but. At the beginning of this year, well, I won't say at the beginning of this year, that's not completely true. It was more like at the end of last year. I really decided to make a concerted effort to um, really focus on being consistent lifting um, and being consistent about getting stronger. Not just physically, but mentally and emotionally, spiritually as well. So, um, my shoulder was hurting a little bit there. I do have shoulder pain from time to time, y'all. Just That's just an old injury, and it just it hurts sometimes. It doesn't hurt a lot. It's just a little aches. But if I don't warm up my shoulder, my rotator cuffs, it hurts bad. But, um, yeah, I, just, I made an effort to really be serious with my lifting. So, naturally, um with the way my diet is, which I'm gonna do a video talking about my diet because I think it's kind of needed, really, to be honest. And I think a lot of people, um, well, maybe not a lot of people, but some people could probably benefit from it. Um, but yeah, with the way I, um, I diet, because I do a lot of intermittent fasting, I've just come to realize that the lifestyle that I live does not facilitate me eating every couple of hours. And plus, that it, it only really makes you bloated. I hate to say that, but it does. I noticed that guys it, guys and women that quit eating like that, a lot of the bloat in their stomach goes away. Because you're honestly, you're eating too much. And your body doesn't have time to digest all that. And you're also taxing your digestive system quite a bit. But, um... Here, I was really just trying to maybe open my hips a little bit more, stretch my hips out a little bit more. Um, but yeah, between my diet and really being concentrating on lifting, I've lost weight. And I'm not crazy. I know a little bit of it is muscle strength. I think uh, muscle uh, mass. I think now, though, I'm not losing any muscle mass anymore. If I am, it's very, very, very... Okay, that's not stretching. That's just straight dancing. <laughs> but um, I think now I'm, I'm, I'm mostly losing body fat, which is good. Um, this year, I think I've lost... So far, it's at least been 35 pounds. I haven't been really keeping up with it super, super close. I do weigh myself every time I go to the gym, which is once a week. I refuse to weigh myself anymore because I don't want to be obsessive about it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's more or less just watching what I eat and really being, um, really being consistent with making sure that I burn calories and, and, and try to get stronger. And I won't lie, you know, I put on the muscle, uh, partially to help burn off the fat too, because muscle just burns more fat than anything else. Um. And for anybody out there scared that you're gonna start looking like a man, I don't I don't think I look like a man at all. But I don't know, y'all tell me. Maybe I do. <laughs> Maybe I don't see myself the way other people see me. I see more definition in my arms though, but I don't think my legs will ever do that thing that guys' legs do. Like, you know, the super muscular quads. I don't I I can feel I have muscles, but they don't show like that. I don't think they ever will. Um all of my time working out in order to get certain muscles on my body to show like that I had to do really extreme things to get that to happen and I'm not willing to go to those lengths anymore because I'm not um, 
I'm not interested in what I was interested in then and the re you know the reasoning behind why I was doing that. It doesn't interest me anymore. So, you know. My child just yeah, let's just move this bench. Oh, I thought I was gonna sit down. I was gonna be like, hey, you're sitting there. <laughs> but um I, I tend to do a lot of singing and to get behind things. I think I was trying to see if I could uh, put my foot on top of the bar. But I think I thought better of that because I probably would have failed and I would have had to edit that out. And then you guys would know nothing about it. By the way, I did go back down to uh, 155. Yeah, 155. I put the 10 pound plates back on. Right there, I'm trying to talk myself into not racking the weight and, and to go for um, another rep. I wanted to rack it. So sometimes I have to talk to myself a little bit. Now it's time to sit down. <laughs> to be honest with you, I didn't want to do, um, I didn't want to do any more squats, but you know. Like I said, I have to talk to myself and push myself through the stuff. Actually, I don't think I'm going to do squats anymore. I think I'm going to do uh, good mornings, actually. So I was done with squats. And, um, I will explain to you why I decided to do good morning. So, I was looking for another exercise to... phone ringing anyway um i decided to uh do good mornings because i was looking for another exercise to work my, my hamstrings and my glutes um because as i said for you know a long time i ignored those parts of my body a lot um i used to ignore my legs really well not really i didn't ignore them but I don't know, it hurts to train legs. It hurts, like, for me, like, big muscles and you're really taxing them and it really hurts to train them. So sometimes I would shy away from the pain, but I try not to do that anymore. Um, so with these good mornings, okay, so I'll be honest and tell you, it's the first time I've ever done this exercise to my recollection. I don't remember ever doing this before. So bear with me as I figure out the form. This here is not actually, um, it's not actually the best form. Later on, when I, later on, uh, the form locks in a little bit better. So just watch to see how it changes. So right here, you see me putting a uh, 10 pound plates on. I'm pretty much really just trying to take it easy with this exercise since I've never really done it. So I just want to kind of, you know, take it easy. 45 pounds wasn't heavy though. This also works on um, your back as well. 
So it's gonna work your hamstrings, a little bit of glutes, it's more hamstrings than glutes, honestly. You know, your back, I find what works glutes the best is uh, weighted bridges. So if you do bridges either with the dumbbell in your lap or the bar across your lap. So. Now right here is where I feel like right locking in the right, right about there. So less bend, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> less bend in the knees and more hinging at the hips. So once I got that right, that's when I really was like. Yeah, I was feeling it then. And it really became a difficult uh, workout. Well, a difficult movement. Um, as you can see, I really started, <laughs> I started dripping the sweat then. I was like, do I want to put some more weight on here? Hey, why not? Put 20 more pounds on. Actually, I think those are 15s. I must say, yeah, those are 15s. I was feeling pretty good. So that should be 105 there. No, it's not 105 because those other ones are 10s. So I decided to superset this with some shoulders. Um, once again, still working on those delts. Still working on those delts. Couldn't make up my mind which one I wanted to do. Did I want to do one arm? Or did I want to do both arms? But I really wanted to tax the delt, so I decided instead of alternating, I would do one arm. When I did the two, I don't know, I just, I don't know, it just it, it felt like it was too much going on. So with the one arm, I can really focus on uh, bringing the weight up with minimal swinging. Minimal. Trying my best not to swing at all, but I probably should have did on my back against the wall, but I wanted to stay in an area where you guys could see me. Fairly decent. You know, I think next time I do these, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my feet closer together because when I do Romanian deadlifts, my feet are a little bit closer together than that. And I'm gonna see how that affects things, if that changes. Anything. But when I got through with these, y'all, my back and hamstrings were on fire. Really, they were. Good mornings really work well if you do, if you do, you know. You see it slow down a bit too. Really trying to focus. Attracting the muscles, you see me leaning there because I'm like, oh my. But I'm glad I incorporated those. I'm also um, talking myself out of out of a lot of sit-down breaks. 
Um, I try not to sit down too much in the gym. Even when I'm in between, I try to like walk or be standing or something. I try not to sit down too much. I mean, I do a little bit here and there, but I try not to. I try to be actively doing something. Um, I ain't gonna lie, these were hurting. My shoulders were burning. They were burning already. These dumbbells were 20 pound dumbbells, by the way. I've done this exercise with 25. So. Um, I don't do front raises too much. So I think by me doing front raises first, and then I did rotator cuff stuff before that, because that, that attacks your shoulders too. Um, I think all that kind of played a role. So that by the time I got to the lateral uh, delt raises, my delts were already like burning. I'm pretty decent at it. When I get through with them, I'm, you know, my real, del my real delts are, are on fire. But really by the time I get to the real delts, my, my whole delt is burning, but, um, yeah, I took a moment to, uh, I think I was done with the good mornings and I just wanted to take a moment to just finish doing the delt exercises. And I want to let y'all know, I did not take a whole lot of um, breaks in between. I know this is edited. It's not like five, 10 minutes here that I'm editing out seconds. So I'm kind of showing you um, how long it's taking me. This workout this time is actually pretty long because even edited, I think this video is over. Um, I know it's over 35 minutes. It might be over 40 minutes. And I cut out some stuff because I did some stretching and stuff like that. And if you guys want me to, um, I can always uh, post the stretching that I did or when I do stretch, I can always show it and post it if you guys want to see it. So y'all let me know if you want to see that. But yeah, when I got through with this workout, I did stretch quite a bit. When I warm up, I don't do a lot of stretching. I don't do a lot, especially like, um, I do a lot of dance breaks, that's for sure. <laughs> I think it was, I was just glad that my shoulders were over. <laughs> oh God, I'm an idiot. But, um, so yeah, I, um, I don't do a lot of static stretching before I work out. I find it just tires me out, wears me out. I will do some, um, kind of like dynamic stretching or something like that but yeah i won't do a lot of i won't do a lot of uh... can y'all see that i mean i can see it but man those delts are coming in they're not where i want them by far well, i won't say by far but they're not where i want them and i'll be honest my delts coming in like that it, it pushes me to work the rest of my arms as well because i don't want my delts looking like how I want them to look and then the rest of the arm looks like trash. <laughs> um, I still think I should do more rear delt than anything because my rear delts, um, I don't know, they look dinky to me. But maybe that's just me. But it's all good, it's all good. But yeah, now I'm, now I'm almost, I'm almost staggering now. It's becoming, becoming a lot. No, no, what was I doing? I was loosening my hips. That's what I was doing. <laughs> I'm sad. You know, I should really cut this stuff out, but I'm just, I'm, I'm just fast forward past this part. No, I think at this point I really was loosening my hips up. Cause I forgot I was gonna do um I was gonna do glutes. So I might have been loosening my hips to the beat of the music though. That might might have been the case. Maybe. But as you can see my balance with the with the um, resistant bands are better. Before I would do this and just about kill myself, about to fall over. I 
and this really makes my glutes like and my hamstrings but it's, it's more my glutes and um, really all of the hip really has to work you know to keep your leg you know to go straight back not left to right and all that so you working a lot of different muscles working the main muscle but then stabilizer muscles too so these band these uh resistance band kickbacks really work really well I, really, I don't even take a break. I just alternate legs. Trust me, I want to take a break, but I find that um <clears throat> works better when I when I when I don't take a lot of breaks. As you can see, I'm grabbing my bum because it hurts. Yep, we back for some more. I think before I was cheating myself, not really doing that many sets of the resistance band, the resistance band kickbacks. I know why I wasn't because it was hurting. <laughs> so I decided to go in a war room and get that together. Legendary bench press. Oh, my favorite exercise. Yeah, right. Not even close.
Here I decided to go to some um, dumbbell press. I think this is the workout where I started incorporating dumbbell press to, I guess you could say, finish off my chest. Um, you see me adding a twist to the waist. That way that I really make sure I contract at the top of the movement. I find that really helps me to focus on contracting my chest. Um, little bit of chest that I have. <laughs> so those are 20 pound dumbbells by the way. I'm not really counting the reps, I'm just kind of going by how I feel. Yeah, I came back with 35 pound dumbbells. Yeah, put those closer to your knee, Danny. 
can't can't really kick them up there if they're way up there by your, by your hips. Real smart. Probably should have moved the bar out of the way, but it's all good. Clearly I've gone to go put the 20s up, they're gone. So here is where I finally had sense enough to move the bench out far enough to make sure that I don't get my head on the, um, the barbell that's in the rack. All right, so right here I decided that I wanted to work my triceps as well. So I'm definitely just killing the triceps. If I had done bench press and dumbbell press. My triceps were already feeling a little bit, but sometimes I feel like my triceps hold back my bench. Um, so sometimes I feel like I need to work them a little bit more. I feel like my form on these skull crushers were better than the last video, but I don't know, I still think it could be it could be even better. My triceps were really on fire. Like really on fire. I was struggling through those. Every one of them I was struggling through. After I did this workout, <clears throat> I was very, very sore. Um, for like the next day or two. Oh, it was more like two days. But yeah, I was very sore. This is a grueling workout. Just like I said, after I edited it down, it's just a hair less than an hour. So anybody that's hanging in watching this long, I really appreciate you. Because, uh, because, uh, yeah, this is a long workout. Uh, Alright y'all, well, this is my last set of bicep extensions, so next time, I'll see you guys later.